I just gave myself a shot. Hi, my name is Kat. Alright, so what you're gonna do is um you're gonna get your alcohol. That's pretty mm. good. Okay. And do what? And you're gonna clean this. You're gonna wipe this off. And what I do, because a lot of people they flip the bottle over and put the needle in, put it on a flat surface. I pop that open and you're gonna stick it in there first. So you don't poke yourself with the needle by accident. Alright, now you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna pull on the plunger right here. Mm -hmm. At the bottom. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna pull, you're gonna there you go. Is the needle is the needle in the liquid? Yeah. Cause if if it's probably pull stuck it out in the a air. Bit, pull pull the needle out bit. some. There you go. Try I did it. that and it try it again. Pull on the plunger. There you go. Hold it upside down, baby. Get it. There's like a bubble like in the worst fucking area. In the Can you see? Okay. So with this, if you want to pull this off, you can as well. Because you're you're not gonna need to hold it up to the light like that. You can see because when you had it all the way up, you were sucking up the air from up here. But I had it. I had. I saw the needle down here, and mm -hmm. there was a bubble right right there. Yeah. So if you hold it right side up and hold the needle sideways. Mm -hmm. You'll get it all up. And you'll see. You can see the liquid start going into the kind of adjust the needle how you see the, the liquid. Yeah. You see, it's all in there. See? Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit more than the one than the one ml. If you want to do all of it, you can. But if not, you just push it up a little bit. You get your lid and you cover it. Okay, so your next is you're going to take this and you're going to clean this area here. So you have a little itty bitty scar right here and you have another little itty bitty scar right there. So if you can, right in between there, in between those two. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your, your alcohol and you're going to do a circle outward. Okay? So, so like right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna let it dry. You okay? If you wanna stop for a second, we can, okay? Alright, so we're gonna let it dry a little bit and then you're gonna pinch. And if you want a band-aid, I got you a sparkly one. Just right there, right there where you're at, keep it there. Yep, and your needle's gonna go right there, right in the and middle. Go straight or don't? Yep. No, 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 straight. Do it. You could do this. You can. I don't remember doing like when I did the Humera shot. I don't remember having to go that deep. Those are subcutaneous. What does that mean? That they're only right under the skin. And they were like the needle was mm -hmm. like a baby needle. Yeah. The the needle sizes was. And this is what we use for babies to give them their shots. If they're so the thickness of my skin is way thicker than I think it is. Mm-hmm. It's just a mental thing, like you say. A lot of people go through it. Just take it off and do it. Take what off? The I lid. did and do it. Girl, you got the it. Cap. No, I can go through the, the cap. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I don't think you want plastic in it. <laughs> and see, on your legs, it's so easy to tell where you're going to go. On mine, it's not. You want me to give it to you? That's fine. I can do it for you. So, it, it, like you say, it's a mental thing. So, um, if you do it fast then you don't have to worry about it. It's when you go slow that, you know. You feel it more. Mm -hmm. You feel it more, it's more, you know, agony on your brain. Just thinking, oh my God, it's gonna hurt. Oh my God, it's gonna hurt, and it doesn't hurt. So what I do is I hold it like this, and I pinch with that, with that same hand. More. The reason why is because when I go to pull this needle off, I'm going to give it with my dominant hand. All right. So right here in this area, you're going to start in the middle and you're going to move outward. Right. 
So you did that perfectly. I let it dry. Yeah, she she couldn't do it on her own. I mean, I never can do it. But. Well, you can come back next week and we can see if you've made some progress. Okay. We'll see, we'll see if she so can do it. So just let it dry. We'll let her watch this. See how you pull it off with your with your dominant hand? Okay, and with this hand, you're going to hold your spot. So my thumb is right on that area, on that crease that I showed you. Mm -hmm. you my thumb stays there. So that would be my what hand? My left hand? So I'd be holding like that. Mm -hmm. So you can line up your your pinky or your this finger here on this line. Okay. Okay. And just kind of pinch a little bit. You're going to pull this needle out, adjust it so it's going to go straight, and poke. And that's it. That's it. That went bad, huh? Mm -mm. I think it pushing it in is the worst part. The, the fluid. The, mm hmm Then you see what she's doing? She's you just kind of wiggle it. Yeah, and I was told to walk around a little bit afterwards. Mm hmm I have to start giving myself B12 injections, and oh my god, I have been psyching myself up for this a lot. I don't know why, but I can't get over the mental hurdle of giving myself a shot. The video, if this even becomes a video of me giving myself a shot, might be four hours from now. I don't know. It just depends. It could even be a week from now. I don't know. I am so scared to give myself a shot, and I don't know why. I give, I get shots and in, injections all the time, and I give blood all the time. And I've even given myself a shot as a 10 year old. So why I'm having so hard of now, I don't know but I am. The first time they gave me my prescription they gave me this big needle and someone told me that a bigger needle, where's the camera, a bigger needle will hurt less but I don't know. I don't really, maybe that's true but right now the shorter needle that I have now is gonna be a little bit less of a pain in the ass to get over it mentally because I'm not really worried about it hurting. Because when it does hurt, it's going to hurt like that. And I've gotten piercings that hurt way more than you can probably imagine. And I'm in pain all the time. I'm not really afraid of pain, I guess. It's more the idea of I'm about to stab myself. And again, I'm always out of breath. And so I'm probably going to be listening to music while I stab myself. So it might be muted or voiceovered or maybe I won't be listening to music. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But... I have the B12 here, I have my needle, I've got a bunch of alcohol swabs, I'm going to wash my hands before I do it, don't worry, and I have band-aids, but I don't know if I'll need a band-aid, we'll see. I'm going to be doing it in my thigh, so where, how I'm going to set the camera for up for that, I don't know yet, I haven't decided, but I have watched a lot of videos online on how to do a shot, and I'm, I know how to physically do a shot. It's like, how do I get over the mental hurdle of being able to give myself a shot? For some reason, it's like really big, and I don't, and I, I don't know why. I honestly wish I had two cameras so I could like video my face and my leg, but um, my camera on my phone doesn't work very well. I made a, I vlogged at the ER with it, and at some of the videos, I stabilized it as much as I could. But for some reason, the camera does this like shaky thing, and I think it would be very aggravating have, trying to watch a needle go in your skin, go in my skin, I guess, with the camera shaking. And I don't think I would be able to stabilize a video that long, if that makes sense. I could do clips, but I'm not that good of an editor. Okay, so the things that I have to for the shot is, of course, an in-home sharps container. We bought this at a pocket, and I'm going to actually see if insurance will pay for one. And you can already hear one in there. We did it at the, um, what do you call it? I went and had her show me how to give me a needle. I went up to my nurse and had her show me how to, and I was actually going to try to do it then, but because of how big the needle was, I got too scared to do it. Which, the needle is like this big. And don't worry, I'm being very careful. Like, I can do it this way, but you can also put it on the ground. You know, the, the cap on the ground and find the needle that way. But if I poke myself with it, I'm not too scared of it. But, here is the smaller needle. Let's see if you can see it. Do you see how shorter that is? It's like right there. I'm, I know my nails are gross. I bite them. But, like, you can see the difference. So, yeah. Um, ooh. I'm psyching myself up a lot for this and I really don't know why I've honestly given myself a shot when I was 10 so why I'm so scared I don't know 
Maybe it's the fact that I have Tourette's now. I don't know. It's probably a little bit of it. Um, I don't want to like be trying to do it and then be so nervous that I start taking and then accidentally stab myself incorrectly or uh, yeah. But I am going to change and I'm going to try to find a position to put the camera in a way that you can see me doing it. So if you don't want to see somebody giving themselves a shot, click off this video. I don't even know why you clicked on this video in the first place, but yeah, I'm going to be giving myself a shot. I'm super nervous. Super, super, super nervous. Hey, so I have been editing this video and I am about to show y'all me um, giving myself a shot for the first time, but before I do that, I want to give a disclaimer. I am a huge crybaby. If you're new to my channel, you might not know that, but if you're You've been here for a while, you probably know that, honestly, because I cry all the time. But, um, <laughs> I have debated if I'm going to mute this part of the video or not. I decided not to because if somebody is out there that is struggling to give themselves a shot, I want them to know that it's okay to cry because it totally is okay to cry. Um, I cried before I gave myself the shot because of the fear. I was, I was not afraid of the shot hurting. I was afraid of me doing it wrong or me um, poking myself halfway and then bringing it back out because the last time I gave myself a shot it didn't go well and I remember that now my dad um, told me like don't you remember the last time you gave yourself a shot it didn't go well not the one that I'm talking about now but I had given myself a humira shot that did not go well at all and so I guess there was like still some subconscious fear there and so after I gave myself a shot I broke down crying and I um I jump cut a lot during this section of the video because there was a part of it that I was really angry that I just don't want to show online and that's perfectly okay. Um, with my Tourette syndrome I do deal with anger issues and <laughs> I just don't think I want to show that on camera but I do want to show the fact that it's perfectly okay to cry. If you are scared of giving yourself a shot it does not mean you're a baby, that does not mean you're not capable of doing it no matter how scared you are you are able to overcome your fear and i want to show that you are able to do that because i was so so freaking scared and i just want you all to know that if you are struggling with this it is completely okay and i think the way of normalizing that is to show it see so you are about to see myself give myself a shot in about i don't remember how long it's been but it's been a long time so yeah let's go to it I don't understand, Mom. Okay, no, I don't want to be able to do it. <laughs> you can do this. No, I can't. Yes, I don't understand you can. why. Yes, you can. You can do this. You know you can. You're brave. You know you can do this. There you go. You did it. Good girl. Perfect. It's starting to hurt. Are you supposed to release your leg when you get done or no? And pull out and put your band-aid on. <laughs> Perfect. Take your needle off. And I can't believe it. if I can do that. You did good. I can't. Now rub your leg. Put your band-aid on. Here. You did good. You did it. <laughs> you did it. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? No. Okay. You did good. You're a big girl. You have to do it in two, then. You did good. Or is it a lot? I don't know. Don't touch it. I can't. It's just right there. You did it. I'm shaking more than I did that. Okay, I... see? And now was it so bad? No, it didn't hurt. The first time I gave myself a shot, I forgot to pull back a little bit. Um, that's not the end of the world, but you need to know if like blood's coming into the needle or not. Um, and so, remember this video is not a to-do video. This is simply a journey of me able, of, this is simply my journey of being able to give myself shots. So, I'm working on giving my second um, shot and um, I'm going to take you all along with me because I'm going to be doing this one without my mom, hopefully. 
she's asleep right now so if I end up getting scared then I'll have to put the medicine back into this thing giving yourself a shot like the act of doing it is not hard it's a very easy thing to do but with the amount of fear that I have simply because I'm having to do it myself it's a little bit different <laughs> um, me having Tourette's does make me a little bit more nervous but I had gotten a shot by a trained professional in my arm it was a b12 shot and I don't know what they did but they it just really really hurt afterwards where and I couldn't move my arm and I almost had to go to the emergency room and I'm terrified I'm gonna do that to myself one day and I can't breathe because I'm I'm always out of breath but um I got myself some um, princess band-aids this is a Cinderella band-aid um, the first time I did it I went and got them afterwards because I wanted something to look forward to afterwards I guess and I'm a child so Disney band-aids um, I really don't need it but you know there's always a chance you could bleed afterwards but clean it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um, I was told to count to ten I don't remember by who I wasn't supposed to blow on it don't blow on it because that recontaminates it that was really dumb of me okay so the way that alcohol sanitizes is when it dries when it fully dries then it's completely clean I'm nervous I think I'm gonna always be nervous every single time I give myself a shot hopefully it gets easier though okay so the first time I did it I accidentally like pulled this off and this thing right here came off I'll come closer this blue thing came off it actually just kind of sits there which I'll show you it just sits on there it's on a screw because um, this is a different needle than a normal thing so what I learned online is that if you pull um, the air that how much you're gonna get in there and then inject it into this it'll be easier I can't see. Uh -huh. okay. So I'm going to add the air in there. And that way, I don't know how, but for some reason that makes it look so much easier. Because you're not having to fight the um, plunger. I'm using the light to be able to see in the bottle better. I knew this was a chain. Mmm. Goodness, I do not need to tick right now. It's not the time to tick. Okay, so I'm going to put more air in there so that I can get the rest of the fluid. Hmm. There likes to get a bubble like right here where you're supposed to put the needle. I don't know why. starting to get bubbles again. Okay, I'm at one milliliter. And I did that last time I did it. Okay, so if you're going to give yourself a knot, a, sh a knot, if you're going to give yourself a shot, pull it out upside like this, upside right, because every time I pull it out it comes out of the stupid hole that I made which probably should be common sense but if you are a spoonie you might not be able to always use your ability of common sense when you have a bunch of brain fog so I'm just cleaning the outside of the thing because it just spewed all over the place I don't know if you were able to see that in the camera so You see the bubble at the thing? That's how you know that there's no air like in the needle. Let's see if I can do this without crying. I want to explain why I cried in the clip that you saw before this clip. Um, I'm probably going to put a little disclaimer right before that clip. 
simply because I am a little embarrassed by the fact that I've cried. But, um, there's no reason for me to be embarrassed that I cried. I'm a crybaby. I'm not embarrassed by that fact. I cry over everything. If somebody dies in the movie, even if I fucking hate them, I cry. If there's music that sounds good, I cry. When my cats give me lovings, I cry. Um, I'm just a big crybaby, and a lot of it probably has to do with the fact that I'm bipolar and I'm not taking any medication for it right now, and so my emotions are at the very... See, I'm already like trying not to cry right now. My emotions are at the very tip of the iceberg constantly, and the smallest thing may, can set me off. Hoping you're going to be able to see it. If not, we'll have to... I don't know. The reason I have my leg over this leg is so I can get that line right there. Because that line is going to help me know where to do it. I'm really anxious, and I'm sorry y'all can't see my face. I don't have my dad's camera, and um, I tried to film with my mom's, and with my phone, you know, last time, but it just didn't work. I'm shaking so much, oh my god. Some of the stuff came out. And again, I forgot to pull out when I put the needle in there. Some of that is blood. And some of that is the, um, what do you call it? The, um, B12 stuff. And I think I hit a vein. But that's okay. I'll remember. I'll remember next time. Mm, I'm too wet. Damn it. Keep princess babies. Ooh, this one has Ariel on it. I don't have a tissue with me. Yeah, I need to. Princess! Okay, so things that I need to work on. I need to work on remembering to pull back and make sure that there's not blood inside the, the needle because I think this time I hit a like a small thing, like a little blood vessel, nothing that really matters, but I need to really remember to do that. Um, the reason I don't remember is because I stick the needle on me and I'm like, holy fuck, you just gave yourself a shot. And then from there on, I'm like, get the thing out, get the thing out, get the thing out. <laughs> and I forget to pull back. Um, and my mind is only on push the damn, this is the push the B12 into your body and pull out. <laughs> and you know, it doesn't hurt. It does not hurt. Um, like, it doesn't feel good when you start to inject it. When it starts to get down to like here, it starts to feel like, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt though. But, um, I'm still so shocked that I actually did that. Um, I'm very shocked. When I gave it the first time, if you saw in the clip, I was shaking, but then I like cut it off because I started crying, um, which you see a little bit of it, but I actually had like a full meltdown. Um, because like I had so much fear of giving myself a shot and the fact that I'm doing it and I'm being a badass basically 
I'm still like, holy crap, you're doing this, you know? I, maybe if you've given yourself a shot, you know and understand what I'm saying. But like, yeah, I've, like, I'm a crybaby. And if you're new to my channel, you're going to have to get used to it. If you're old, if you've been on my channel for a while, I'm sure you're used to it by now. Because I've cried on YouTube a million times by now, probably. But like, I'm just so proud of myself, I guess, because this was really hard for me to do. It was really hard for me to learn how to do this even like yeah I did it when I was 10 but um I have gone through so much medical trauma since then and that's prob that's another reason probably why it's such this like big thing for me but yeah princess band-aids making me feel better I hope y'all had a fun time watching my journey to being able to do it by myself like I just did it without my mom like oh my god I'm still like ah but um <laughs> yeah i just dropped the lid to this but um i just gave myself a shot okay so um in case you're wondering i'm gonna have to start giving my myself another type of shot which is um for tret syndrome because my tret syndrome has been very bad lately remember you know your body better than anybody else please listen to it thank you for staying alive if you have to start giving yourself a shot you can totally do it i believe in you it is very scary i totally understand but you can do it. And again, I'm going to cry because I'm a baby. I might as well be pregnant because I cry all the time and pee all the time. So, you know what? That's me for you. I hope you are having an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this. And my camera's about to die. So, I'm going to see you later. Bye.